you guys fishing with Dylan here and today we made it to the, uh, to the charter. Um, right now we're sitting at the dock, we're about to head out. Um, so hopefully it's a good day fishing. Um, they said the reports are good today, so let's see what we can't catch. They're snakeheads, they got a mouthful of teeth, but not like that. These guys, they got a... Yeah, that's what it means, but it's an eagle. Eat big ass? Oh yeah. One of the best eating fish I've had. I know, I guess that's why they were like good, weren't they? The Chinese had them here or something? Yeah, they, I thought they put them out of like two stinkers. Yeah, I don't know how okay. exactly... <laughs> that's what I thought, they just came out of the They just came back. I took you wrong, but I swear well, I thought that's what happened. They out there were fish for back in the day. I and now we got a boom in population. I mean, probably didn't grow this thing. It's sort of thing. We don't blow it for all of them. Like a live frog or like a top water soft frog? Top water soft frog. Yeah, they, they're real. Pound for pound, they're probably one of the strongest fish we got really? up in Maryland. You want to go ahead and take that line, hold the line, I'll hold the hook, put that hook around the hook. Now you're starting to weed. Oh. Yeah, okay, don't bite me anything. <laughs> yeah, pull, pull up with your, uh, up your right hand, down with your left hand.
grass right there. Put both around the hook. Going out twice there. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Go. Cool. 
pull up on them. Yeah. Out here, uh, swim up over these rocks. Actually, never mind. That's I'm not trading. We can't. <laughs> yeah. We can't. Today's visibility, you know, you don't roll it too far in distance. It's kind of look off the bow, maybe 20 yards or so, and you kind of don't really look at the horizon. You kind of just look up, up to see the horizon, I'm looking and the can back around all the way. Okay. A lot of times you get looking out to the horizon, all of a sudden it'll be a pack underneath the boat. You know, it happens that way. And it'll be a group of them, not just well, a single. Well, right now it might just be a single. Okay. Right now, if you see one, it's gonna be the unicorn bringing up the rear, the straggler. But a group would be better. Better odds, isn't that? Turtles or anything rays, we, we definitely look at rays, but they're not really always on them. We do see a turtle or anything that looks 
different than what we're looking at right now, which is nothing. Let me know. See all over there too. Some of the smaller loggerhead turtles don't really hold with the phobias, uh, but the big leather backs. Mm -hmm. You know, you cast them on, you know, eight times out of ten, normally there's something living underneath that leather back. Whether it's a shark or a phobia, or most times it's tiger phobias. Sometimes they're smaller, but. These ribbon fish, they can fight.
guys. Yeah, so it was a good day. Um, you seen we went out there. We uh, threw the rods out, started trolling for some ribbon fish. Uh, the actual name for them, I believe, he said was the Atlantic Cutlass Fish. Um, so we went out. Uh, we call it. At first, our um, our goal was to get 20 of them. Um, but I was really surprised with how much of a fight they put up. I mean, for such a, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a small fish. Um, I mean, they were every bit of probably four foot long, but they were a very slender fish. Um, so seeing them online before I caught them, I really didn't expect that much of a fight, but I mean, they were really, they were really putting up a good fight. They were really digging down. Um, so after we caught a bunch of those, we moved on. We, uh, captain found a rock pile underwater and we threw on some cut bait. We dropped them down to the bottom. We hooked up to some sea bass. We hooked up to some croaker. Um, and, uh, we, after we fished there for a little bit, we picked those up. We then threw out the rods that were set up for Spanish mackerel. Um, we started trolling for them for a little bit. We did hook up on one. I didn't get it on um, video though. Uh, but then we hopped up on a cobia tower, which it was my first time up on a cobia tower. Uh, we were looking around for cobia. Um, obviously, we were looking around for red drum, sharks even. Um, and I learned that uh, cobia will stick to rays and turtles. So we we're looking around for rays and turtles as well. He said uh, most of the time if you see a ray or if you see a turtle and you cast by it um, and you jig underneath of it or whatever, a lot of the times there'll be a cobia hanging out with it. Um, but yeah, so we did that for a little bit. We didn't see anything, but you know, still pretty cool to experience that and be able to get up there and look around um and then after that after we did that for a little bit we came back down from the cobia tower and we went back over to where the ribbon fish were we caught a bunch more of those um and then we went on in uh but all in all i mean it was a really good day hooked up to a lot of fish um i mean being on the water, it's always a good day. Uh, so I definitely can't complain at all. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. Go ahead and uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment below. Please, please, please comment below if you guys want to see anything. If you guys have anything um, at all that you would like me to uh, record, any tackle videos, explaining tackle, showing you guys my tackle box. Um, rod and reel, showing you guys my rod and reel, you know, um, different tactics on how to troll, how to jig, how to work any type of lure, whatever, whatever it may be. Just please go ahead and uh, comment up that below and let me know so I can go ahead and make that for you guys. All right. So I'll see you guys next time.